All right, guys, I got my dad's three-wheeler back in my little ware, well, warehouse, my shed, and uh, I had to pull that clutch cover off because it was slamming gears. Uh, it felt like it was gonna break the transmission, and that's because the secondary clutch, uh, they always seize up from sitting too long, or maybe some moisture gets in there, and the clutch plates just, so they don't wanna release. It, it opens up, it's adjusted correctly, and the plates have so much friction between them that they will not release, therefore you get a very harsh shift. Here's a beautiful example of what was going on here. That is actually what came out of this three-wheeler. And the takeaway is the actual steel plates. Yeah. Now, the oil was always clean, but at some point it obviously wasn't. That was problem number one. That's what a steel plate should look like. Notice all of the new steel plates are typically dimpled, which helps the oil um, stay in between the plates when the bike's not running. When it's squished, it will keep it lubricated to break free. But these are actually rusting. All of them. Every single one of them. Uh, I mean, the clutch material is still kind of there. You know, worn but there, but it was done, shifting crazy hard. Okay, that was number one. Number two, when I pulled off this case right here, and I'll, I'll put a clip of the video. This is what I found in the screen filter, right there. The non-serviceable screen filter in the bottom of the motor, which almost all Hondas have, was completely packed full of filter material. And this top end had a nasty rattle. And I had adjusted the valves and I checked, you know, to make sure oil was getting to the top. I broke the line right here when it was running, had oil, you know, coming out under, off, under pressure. Uh, well, I thought pressure. It was just kind of oozing out, just, and apparently, it really never built much oil pressure because the pump was practically clogged. Now, then I was worried, well, was the pump damaged? No, the pump wasn't damaged because it pretty much runs, it lives in this oil bath area. I was like, okay. Get that uh, old filter out. Of course, the new filter was completely clean because it never could circulate all the way through. Put it all back together, new clutch pack, runs great. Top end's quiet now, and really have no issues. I'm I'm really happy. Just wanted to show my share my experience uh, with my restored Big Red. This is the same one from my dad for Christmas, and we're almost at Christmas again. So I figured let's get it fixed. Let's see if she wants to start. Little choke. It is pretty cold out. strange situation uh, with the filter not so much the clutch packs I feel like every old ATV I have suffers from the same issue including that 350d it uh it shifted crazy hard the clutch packs would break loose after running for a while same with this after you pretty much drove it with your foot smashing the shifter which decompresses the clutch packs and eventually it would break free obviously that's not how it should work. And mechanically, you're running the risk of damaging something with uh, pretty much a transmission that's shifting with no clutch. So if this video helps, please smash that like button. If you like three-wheelers, smash the like button. Um, consider subscribing. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.